beautiful Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jali here with your monthly reading for August 2024. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings and I will never reach out to you personally to offer one. Also, I will never ask you for money, e-gifts or donations. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful. There's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Scorpio, this is your monthly reading for August. I can't believe that we're here already, but here we are. Um, I'm also opening up a competition to win a free personal reading from me. This is the second competition. It will be different than the last, so I'll let you know how to win that a little bit later on because some people are here just for the reading and others, uh, you know, are not, so I don't like to waste anyone's time. So let's get straight to it. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? What do they need to know regarding the month of August? 2024 what are they meant to see for their highest good now i gotta give it to you straight this month it's going to be a month of intense extremes especially due to mars squaring venus and jupiter squaring saturn and when i say squaring i mean clashing okay um, but i will get to that in a moment because on a positive note we are currently in the throes of leo season so on a personal level it's time to let out that inner roar follow your passions allow yourself to shine because this month is all about taking center stage in your life taking charge honoring your body your energy your self-care needs pampering yourself if possible doing a little something for you uh, loving yourself a little bit harder but most importantly it's about valuing your worth and remembering to wear your invisible crown. Walk tall and walk proud with gravitas and empowerment as you embrace that go-getting spirit, prioritize what's important at this time whilst making a little time for a power nap along the way. Now, it's a month to be disciplined and remain on course whilst carving out time to have fun, maybe a vacation or a quick trip away. There will be fluctuations in mood, clashes or maybe even conflicts that might occur this month to dampen things a little bit. Uh, you know, you may embrace that warrior spirit of yours one moment and then leap into a chasm of emotion the next. Because Leo season, it teaches us not to sweat the small stuff this time round, to embrace the opportunity to balance as we jostle with the energy. So be fabulous, but also grab your metaphorical surfboard. You're definitely going to need it this month and get ready to ride the waves that will flow towards you. You've got this, but it is pretty intense, okay? Now, there's so much critical energy energy this month. I really don't know where to start. So let's really focus on the wonderful Lion's Gate portal. It lifts us all up into a high frequency glory, providing a portal of prosperity, abundance, and of course, good luck. It's a gateway to intense manifestation, spiritual healing, and growth, especially for the heart chakra. And uh, this portal, it's been open already from the 28th of July. It will close on the 12th of August. However, the most powerful day is on the 8th. That's why it's called Lionsgate, the 8-8 portal. It's a bringer of abundance. So plan a ritual or just take a moment of stillness to visualize and make a wish. Now, the 8-8 portal is also connected to wealth. So utilize the energy to its full potential as money-making ideas or curveballs of good luck start to head your way. Now, hold on to that surfboard I mentioned and get ready for a little dip. The dreaded Mercury retrograde graces us with its presence this time. It's going to double down in the sign of Virgo. It really loves to kick up a storm, especially with your electrical equipment, communications, and shakes up perceptions of reality. We may even have some power outages or glitches. Uh, these things are going to become a little bit more of a regular occurrence. So I would save down any important documents, statements, or anything you're working on so you don't lose it. 
always have candles and torches on hand too, just in case. Uh, and of course, any important communications or quotes, get them in writing to avoid misunderstandings or miscommunications. And of course, this too shall pass as a blip. Um, you know, it will go direct quite quickly after that. Um, but I want you to be aware uh, that with every negative, there's always a positive when it comes to the Mercury retrograde. So we can all embrace the opportunity to utilize the energy, revisit or improve something, rethink or course correct to enhance some area of your life that needs a little bit of a boost. Now, straight after that dip, expect a major shakeup as Jupiter squares Saturn on the 19th and Mars squares Venus on the 22nd. And this clash of energy really is a big deal. It's highly pressurized, combustible energy, and we often go through challenging times during this phase. But there is always a lesson to be learned from it. So if you're feeling extra stressed or tested around about this time, stop and ask, what am I supposed to be learning from this? And the answer can actually transform the situation for the better. Now this energy, it can also make you feel super practical to sit up, pay attention and get organized or serious about the direction of your life. Now these squares that I mentioned, they are occurring in some mutable signs which can often increase societal tensions on a global scale. And sadly, it has the potential to create bigger divides, but Venus works extra hard to bring people together. There will be a jostle of energy, so astrologically, as tensions rise, people take back their power. And of course, with Leo season connected to the brightest light in the sky, Sky, the sun, uh, it reveals where we can grow together rather than apart. But this clash of energy impacts us all from the 19th of August, wait for it, it's going to stay right through to June 2025. And things are going to get pretty wild and sometimes pretty unbelievable, but I want you to be aware of it. Uh, you may start to notice extreme behavior, maybe shocks or plot twists. And of course, I mean, of course, why wouldn't the blue full moon also occur on the 19th? Because it will also intensify the energy even further. So on a global scale, we may be in for a major surprise in and around this time. The 19th to the 22nd is critical. And of course, as I always say, there is a positive to be found in a negative. Um, if you're looking to purchase real estate during this time, you could see some reductions in price. I also see a brief financial correction that will benefit, but it will be momentarily uh, brief uh, before it's actually U-turned is what I see there as well. Strong solar flares will also influence pressure, triggering major earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, combustible energy, because we are firmly in the flow of reshaping landscapes right now. You're probably feeling it. Uh, you don't need me to really tell you about it. Uh, but that's in terms of spirituality, energetically, politically, socially. You know, we are reshaping landscapes. And we may even see some figures in authority be replaced suddenly by unexpected candidates, a reneging of promises or a restructure of systems that push things too far that the only thing left to do is transformation. Uh, I mean, some of these things are not shocking. We're used to those uh, sort of changes, but uh, I feel, you know, it's better to be uh, aware that these changes could occur during this time. Uh, also, as we've just moved out of Cancerian season and into Leo season, there could be some sort of water event uh, that occurs that could be quite critical. Uh, you know, I hope I'm wrong on that, but it's something that, um, you know, we need to be aware of. Uh, but anyway, um, during this time, uh, all things change, okay? And we all know that it can get dark before the dawn. So things can feel uncomfortable during this shift. And this month is no different. This month is really the gateway to what you want to change for the better. So remember that you will be protected and directed towards greater opportunities to marvel at the wonderful you and how you show up for yourself and others every single day. So be proud of who you are uh, and what you are sustaining, maintaining, and creating right now and despite the difficult things you know uh, know that you are a tower of power in all your glorious sovereignty you really have got this okay and I really love that you've actually got the tower because I feel this is uh, you rebuilding something but it's stronger whatever it is but we will get to it in a moment I mean Scorpio why do you always get the tower um, uh, you know I'm a Scorpio too so I completely understand that we get to the tower we get the death card there's always a restructure there's always a revamp going on and I feel looking at your energy 
it's no different. But also I see here um, that there's a lot of success following you right now. Um, overarching energy, I feel like you're getting a lot of clarity of direction. Um, I'm actually seeing a compass in the water for you right now. So some of you, uh, you're going to be super serious about direction. Uh, it could also be that you find a compass in the next coming weeks and months, like randomly on the sidewalk, or perhaps there's a really ornate compass that you've just purchased, because uh, it's actually one of those old time uh, directions. So it can indicate that some of you may revisit something that you used to love doing and actually you find that your direction lies there as well. Uh, it could also be that uh, perhaps you're going to see lots of images of compasses in the next coming weeks and months. And um, I mean, it looks like a maritime type compass, okay? So uh, some of you could be that you're going overseas or thinking about it. Maybe you're just planning things right now and you're not sure, but you're just like feeling things out. But let's move away from the energy. Uh, your first card there is the star. So very inspired month. You're getting clear on the next steps. But also this is about you wishing for something. And some of you, I feel, uh, whatever it is you're wishing for, you know that there is hard work that comes with it as well. So I feel like you're gaining knowledge about it. I definitely see that you're not just... Uh, I feel like you're manifesting and you're in a really strong manifestation phase. I feel there is a magnetic energy about you. So yes, your thoughts are becoming things, but I also feel like you're getting busy doing. I feel this is going to be a very busy month for you, actually. And I feel, especially with the Three of Swords and the Tower there, uh, I mean, these are your starting positions. So it can indicate that some of you, it's like you've been doing double time in life. You've been trying really hard, like extra, extra hard. And you may have felt that things have just not been going exactly the way that you hoped for, or you're trying to rebuild after something that really floored you. Um, but the star energy indicates that yes, you're healing. Um, but more than that, I feel like you're getting inspired because when you tend to go through a rebirth, it's all about destruction, the destruction of things that are not working for you. It's uh, about rebuilding, getting stronger. Uh, for some of you, this could be a reshuffle of your friendships or perhaps your friendship circle is evolving in a way where you feel, you know what, you're outgrowing some people or some situations and you may feel that you know, right now you're focusing on your own needs and not in a way where you're just like dismissing people. I feel like you're choosing healthier options in your life and it's no different in the month of August. But also this card, it is a card of inspiration. So lots of new ideas, fresh new ideas, and maybe even a fresh look at some old ideas because I feel this energy of you revisiting something that's actually going to be very exciting. But this is a card of clarity. And of course there is a star there. So I feel this is about you and your soul song really connecting to what it is you hope for. This card literally means there is a brighter future to look forward to, but it may require some level of restructure for you. So right now, I feel like you're in the planning stages of something and I feel like you're getting busy investigating or you're in the midst of it. Uh, I feel this month for you, it's all about investigation. It's about putting your own needs first in a healthy way. Um, and there's this energy of some of you really diving deep this month into some emotions that perhaps um, it's not that you didn't want to face them. I feel like you face those emotions. You're bold and brave enough to face really difficult emotions, but you may revisit something that darkens your mood a little bit uh, in the middle of the month, okay? But this is almost like um, coming to the surface kind of triggering you a little bit just to see how you feel about it right now. And I feel like you're going to surprise yourself that actually you are stronger because of the experience, but also I feel like you've nearly processed it to the point where it has no effect on you anymore. It's not that you're numb. I feel it's more that you are looking at it from a different angle, like you've matured away from it. And it's almost like you've taken back the power and established yourself as someone who doesn't need to bring those emotions with you any further. It's like way in the past. So I feel some of you, uh, that could occur there as well. Now, um, we do have the higher calling card, okay? Uh, now, of course, this is in the resistance position. So uh, it's like that at first, but it will go into the upright. This can indicate that for some time you've been feeling a little bit stuck or you just feel like life has plateaued in some way and you feel, you know, uh, the things are the same, same. Nothing has changed, even though uh, you are changed, even though you're trying to uh, implement some... Um, plans, you just feel that uh, somehow you're working really hard towards accomplishing something and it feels like somehow you're still in the same place. But I'm being given an energy that you're going to really look back in the month of August at how far you've come. Because sometimes progress 
Okay. It's not something that we see every day, you know. Life, it remains in a certain vein. Um, you know, you get up in the morning, you may have a certain routine, and you may actually think that nothing ever changes. But when you really look back and see how far you've come, then I feel there's this energy of you feeling super proud of yourself and recognizing actually everything's changed to some degree. And I feel that whatever it is you're working hard towards, um, I definitely see that um, you're having faith that there are better things to come and you're going to uh, not just see how far you have uh, come, but also that there is more to come there as well. Because we've got a four of wands here. You're actually someone who is very successful to some degree in your life. With that's you remaining on course to uh, go through some personal development or whether this is something that is um, in terms of a career or a goal or a project you're making headway and that four of wands it's in the past position so that means you've celebrated some sort of win or good news in the past but you may feel that that's all there is but actually with the six of wands here there is more to come. So I definitely see, you know, you're going to be pleasantly surprised in the month of August. Perhaps something that you've been wishing for or working towards, because I see a lot of busy energy, chariot card pushed and pulled in many different directions. Uh, my guides actually uh, indicate that there's one card missing. Oh yes, they're all right. Um, yes, they are right. So I will shuffle another card there for you when I get to your Celtic cross. Um, Ha, thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. My guide said, but it was meant to be so. So perhaps this is you on the quest for that missing piece in your life right now, that missing ingredient. And uh, whatever it is for some of you, I mean, life, it looks pretty serious here, but you're the sort of person who works hard, plays harder. Uh, so I feel like you are trying to change something about your life right now, revamp it in some way. I mean, your 10th house of ambition is influencing you at the beginning of the month. So I'm not surprised to see the chariot card there. This is a period where you're going to get your projects done. You're going to have the energy, the drive, the motivation. Even if you feel that, you know, um, you know the goal, but you're not sure how quickly you're going to get to the goal. I feel like you're just putting one foot in front of the other and trusting the process and know that the universe is going to clear the path for you. Um, this is a, an energy when you're in the 10th house of elevation. So you're reaching another level in your life. And it can be that you are establishing yourself, your reputation in some way. I mean, I definitely get a successful energy here. You're destined for the top. Now this could be spiritually because this is a higher calling card. So it can mean that you're unlocking another level spiritually. You may have a breakthrough in terms of meditation or manifestation, or perhaps on a spiritual gift that you're trying to develop at this time. Uh, for some of you, this is about you really delving deep into the mysteries of the universe you know, submerging yourself in a documentary about the unknown. Perhaps some of you may even go like, um, and this may not resonate with everyone, but some of you may actually be interested in the occult or perhaps go on like a ghost hunt or things like that, a spirit connection uh, event. Uh, some of you may actually have booked like a tarot reading or um, Thanks so much, I'm sure grateful. I rarely get this coming through, but I've got an energy of seance coming through as well. So some of you could be organizing one or doing one or taking part in one. Um, I'm just getting this energy of you um, really connecting because I feel the veil between worlds for you in particular, my beautiful Scorpio, in the month of August is very thin. So I see lots of messages and downloads coming towards you. You're the sort of person right now you may be seeing or learning things that other people do not see or are not... Um, in the mindset to see right now or learn right now. So I feel you are implementing this knowledge in order to connect to your higher calling, to your vision, to the direction of your goals and dreams. But also this card, it can indicate that some of you are trying to break an old habit or cycle that's been playing out in your life. For some of you, this could be low self-confidence or low self-esteem. Or it could be the way that you look at yourself in some way. You're trying to break through that. Um, with the higher calling, I'm also getting an energy. Uh, some of you may be learning about uh, the power of your mind. So uh, some of you may be interested in uh, either counseling or perhaps um, not just meditation. I feel uh, hypnotism, things like that. You may actually learn how to do it yourself. Some of you may be thinking about being a remote viewer or you're noticing that you have certain skills in certain areas and it's perhaps something that you're interested in uh, and you may delve into it um, later on, but you may actually find a course of it in the month of August and there'll be something later on that's coming through there. Of course, that's not going to resonate with everyone, but I definitely
definitely feel this energy of like, oh, what if? Because uh, I get an energy here of you being very curious uh, as to what is out there right now. Picking up a course of learning, um, embracing uh, all that life has to offer, but it feels very much like you're searching on a path that other people perhaps around you are not on right now, and that's okay. Uh, some of you may have felt a bit lonely or isolated on this path, but you do have a higher calling, and I feel like you're connecting to that mission at this time. Uh, some of you may have even felt that you've had to do two or three things, because I feel like you've been juggling a lot of things, you've been super busy. I gotta be honest with you, you know, August is also going to be pretty busy. Some of you may take a brief trip away, but I actually uh, see that, um, you know, you are in the planning stages of building something that is going to protect you, um, is going to uh, keep you uh, doing what you do best. But also, I feel like you're opening yourself up to new knowledge as well there, especially since we've got the inner teacher. Uh, this is the Hierophant card. So I feel some of you are looking at the traditional route of something um, and feeling that you always tend to find yourself on an alternative path. And that's okay. You know, you're the sort of person, especially with the star energy, the higher calling and the Hierophant, it can indicate that some of you, you may see like plans or institutional plans ahead of them being implemented. So you could be paying close attention to what's going on in the world right now and see certain chess moves that are happening and you're like preparing yourself for some of the changes that are coming in. Um, but also I feel on a more localized level, this is about you being the student of life and really trying to be curious and open yourself up to new things. So for some of you, it could be that you're booking a vacation to a place that you've never been to before because you want to soak up the culture, the history, you want to learn, you want to experience new food, new places, new faces. It just feels like what else is out there? Uh, also, I mean, this is you uh, connecting to your uh, personal development, self-care routines, and of course, some of you may even take courses of learning online. That 10th house is ambition. So it can be that, you know, there is a reason why you're taking a course. So if you want to later on uh, relocate to another country, for example, you may take a course of learning in a language of the country that you feel an affinity to. Uh, for some of you, it could be directly related to your career, if you're in a career. Uh, for some of you, if you are in a career, I feel it's been hard, okay? Uh, if you're in a job right now, I feel it's uh, really hard, and I feel like you are on the trajectory towards promotions. Um, I have to get another card there um, before I continue your reading. Um, I feel there are some surprises and shocks. Um, now, these don't have to be personal. I actually will clarify the energy as I move through it, uh, but I feel something inside you has changed and I'm really getting an energy, especially from that tower card there, that you're leaving the familiar to embrace the extraordinary in your life. And sometimes that's really hard. When we are venturing forward, um, you know, and we are moving deeper into uncharted territory, we start to see the shore, it's behind us, and we start to feel a little bit, oh, okay, Things are like coming out of the comfort zone. It feels like you're out of your depth, but that's when things get truly exciting. And I feel there's something happening there for you um, in the month of, um, ooh, look at this. Uh, something's happening in the month of August for you uh, where it feels truly exciting, but it also feels extraordinary. Perhaps something you haven't experienced for quite some time. For some of you, that's love. So if you're looking for a soulmate, this is a great month to find someone. I mean, your final cards there were the king and queen of uh, pentacles. Now, I have to be really honest with you. For some of you, you may actually hear of an ex either um, committing to somebody else getting engaged, getting married, okay? This may shock you. This may be someone who comes in from time to time and tells you that they really miss you, that they really wanna be with you, but they were not emotionally available to step up and offer you the love that you you know, desire and deserve. So I feel this person, uh, they actually truly love you. Uh, and even though I feel like they are moving on or you may hear that they're moving on, I feel this may shock you. Um, and I feel there may be a pang of sadness that, you know, you and them could have been, you know, a really special couple, but I feel this person, they really got in their own way. They tend to self-sabotage. Um, and I feel that um, if you are currently single, I feel like actually you've got someone else coming in um, and you may actually have a choice, a decision to make, okay? Um, 
So yeah, I do see love coming in for you, but I also see that some of you may hear that uh, someone you were with um, that you truly loved, this person, they still love you, but I feel they just couldn't offer you what you deserved uh, in the relationship. And uh, you may hear it through the grapevine, or perhaps you may just discover the information through somebody else. So I want you to be aware of it. Sometimes, um, especially when you have a connection or a bond with someone, it feels like it's familiar. You know their kind of like pattern or cycle of repeat. Uh, this person, they may even reach out themselves and tell you, because I feel this person, they're somehow connected to you in um, a bit of a toxic way. Now, this may not resonate with everyone, but I am feeling it come through, so I have to mention it. Um, so I, I will move away with respect from that energy. Uh, let's get to your personal energy. Your first card there is the Three of Swords. Things are difficult, okay? Now, I'm getting a couple of energies from this card. Uh, this is your protagonist energy. This is your starting point. So you may feel that uh, whatever it is you're doing right now, it just feels like a bit of a struggle. So... Um, the Three Swords, it doesn't always mean heartbreak. It can mean that there is some sort of communication that starts off being misunderstood at the beginning of the month. So I would say get everything in writing because um, you know later on down the line, it could be that you're like, oh, I thought you meant this. And they're like, no. Now, either they were uh, on purpose evasive or they misled you on purpose. This could be in business. It could be in a relationship. Uh, right now, we got the lover's card. So it could be connected to something that you really wanted or that you were manifesting, uh, whether it was... Um, an opportunity at a new role in a company. If you're in a, a career, if you're purchasing real estate, it could be a misunderstanding or miscommunication um, with someone in the process of that. Or perhaps uh, if you're purchasing something uh, that has high value, it could be that you need to maybe get some sort of contract because I'm seeing contracts right now in the water. Uh, I would say just make sure you get everything in writing because this card can indicate uh, misunderstanding, miscommunication, or um, you know something that may arise where you have to revisit it, okay? Now also because we have the star energy, some of you are doing a deep dive into a very uh, difficult and maybe even heartbreaking situation um, and you're healing. You may withdraw during this time in order to uh, do that. So I see some of you, especially with the four of wands in the resistance position, it's in the past position, it can indicate some of you may feel like withdrawing from society or from friendship circles at this time, uh, there may even be a person who disappoints you. I hate to give this message, I really do, uh, but I feel you may see someone with new eyes um, and it may disappoint you briefly, but I feel like you will move past this. There is a potential for you to heal this rift, um, but I feel right now it's like you withdraw or isolate, especially since we've got the tower there, which we'll get to in a moment. Um, and I feel, you know, even though you and this person, you really care for each other, it could be a friend is what I see. Um, for some of you, uh, it could also be a family member. Someone just does something that you're like, what, why, why did you say that? That's that's just not acceptable. Or why did you do that? It just feels like um, you are basically erecting a healthier boundary. And I feel now you are sort of on course to correct some behavior uh, from people around you. So as you spiritually evolve, sometimes people remain the same. And you're now seeing things that they do that you think, actually, I'm not about it. Uh, in the past, you may have tried to uh, seek some sort of solution or you thought to understand why this person has done this. But right now, I feel like you're like, no, I'm not accepting it anymore. That's just enough. I can't do this anymore. Also, for some of you, I mean, the Three of Swords can indicate that, you know, things are really hard right now and you have a lot on your mind. And when you have swords, you know, this is all about, uh, you know, ideas. Uh, some of you may have like a million mile a minute kind of ideas and you need to focus a little bit more. It's like isolate one, prioritize one and uh, focus on that and really build it up. And, you know, all the other things can wait. But I feel it's about prioritizing this time as well. Um, also, that Three of Swords, I really feel that it. Um, things have been a struggle and you're trying really hard to perhaps withdraw in order not to have any distractions in the month of August because the two of wands tells me that you're in the planning stages of something um, I feel there are some really exciting developments don't get me wrong there's a lot of celebration something that you've been waiting for is showing up for you two of wands is to wait for something uh, you know the six of wands is to celebrate but we've got the tower here 
So this can be a shock. So some of you with the Three of Swords and the Tower, uh, I mean, Three of Swords is like, it's difficult already. And then something comes along to like, maybe plot twist your world. Uh, so I'm just gonna pull a card on that tower. As you can see, I shuffle the cards. I cannot choose the cards for you. And I'm like, oh no, there's a Three of Swords and a tower. So it can indicate that you hear news that shocks you. Now this could be good news because on the earthly plane, we have uh, the Six of Wands, which is uh, to be raised up. So it could be suddenly you get news that shocks you just when you feel like you're down on your luck or you feel things are not going uh, right for you or you've really been going through it. Suddenly the universe sends you like a curveball. It shocks you and you're like, oh wow that worked out way better than I thought it would, or this surprises you and it's really exciting. For some of you, I feel like you're healing a heartbreak or you're getting over a past situation and suddenly the universe sends you love. Okay, so I definitely see that there is strong potential uh, to meet someone uh, when it comes to love this month. If you're in a relationship, uh, it could be that this person that you're with, there's a little bit of pressure there. Uh, perhaps you and your person, you've just been going through life and it's a bit of a, a tough time. Perhaps there's a lot of tension. Uh, maybe you're even just a little bit snappy at each other, uh, but it will be resolved. I see both of you, um, you know, really coming together and moving on from this uh, period. So if you're trying to find a solution, and heal things, I definitely see that there is balance and harmony and a plateau. Um, I feel both of you may take a bit of a breather and then have an honest, open conversation where you take accountability there. But um, also I feel with that tower energy, I mean, the tower, it can be after a period of heartbreak or struggle, you're rebuilding and you're stronger because of the experience. You're building back better and stronger than ever before. But the tower can also be to isolate, okay? Um, it can be that you are um, withdrawing to focus on something. You don't want those distractions, but it can also indicate that some of you, you know, you feel that yes, you're following your higher calling path, but it's a lonely path right now. And although you tend to withdraw sometimes to really work things out or work through some very difficult emotions, you know, you tend to like your own time. You like uh, enjoy withdrawing in order to process and basically re-energize. Um, but I feel some of you are feeling just a little bit I don't want to say lost because I'm not getting the energy of lost, but it just feels like some of you feel a bit alone. Even if you are in a group of people, you may feel that sometimes you're on the outside looking in and you may actually be looking at those emotions and those friendship dynamics as well in order to uh, try and open your heart uh, more to perhaps sharing what you're going through because I feel like sometimes you're a bit of a lone wolf. You may not share the difficulties that you're going through. Uh, you're very independent, uh, you're self-sufficient. So I feel there could be a really honest, open conversation with someone very close to you and it kind of affirms that actually uh, they're going through something very similar and that doesn't make it right of course but I feel there's an affinity there we can be like okay I found someone I can really truly confide in um, oof seven of swords now is there I just heard uh, I'm just gonna need to just check there because I just heard what I thought was the sound of a flipper in the deck, but no, I can't see one. So my guides didn't tell me there was one, but we got the seven of swords. Thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Uh, can you please guide? We've got the temperance card. So um, I'm being given the energy, of course, of patience. I would say don't move too quickly on anything. No knee jerk reactions uh, because the seven of swords, you know, I want people to be aware that any card in the tarot deck that has yellow or is golden in the background it's not necessarily negative, it's a positive actually. Uh, but uh, this card, uh, it indicates, you know, if you go too quickly, you may miss something and it may shock you. Also, because we got the three of swords there, it's like a miscommunication. So I did mention that already. I would also say, you know, um, well, this card with the uh, tower, some of you may have been healing from an accident, okay? And don't rush 
getting back into the fray. Take your time to heal. So if you've just gone through something uh, that put you out of action for a little while, I'm sending you a huge hug out there, but heal. Make sure no one pressurizes you to do something or get back and get to work or whatever. Make sure that you actually take time to heal. Uh, the same with if you feel right now that you're under a lot of pressure, because I feel some of you are at capacity right now. If you feel that you've been pushed and pulled in many different directions, do not overload because some Sometimes when the body gives us many signs to heal, slow down, or to stop, if you do not, then the body will say, well, here, here is an unwellness. Here is like a seasonal cold or the flu, or, you know, here is um, you twisting your ankle because you ran for that thing and we told you to slow down. Now, I don't see that happening for you. I want you to be aware of that. I feel it's something that perhaps um, you are aware of that you feel things are critical at this time and you need to manage stress levels, manage pressure, but also don't go too quickly. Um, also, the Seven of Swords, I mean, I gotta call it. Uh, I hate saying it, but I have to say it. Some of you may discover someone being deceitful, or um, you may discover that someone has been um, really interesting. I never see this card like this, but with the pairing that you've got, it's almost like the Temperance card. That figure is actually blending energies, but it's like two cups, right? It's like whilst you're looking at one cup, there could be something going on with the other cup. You know when someone does the art of distraction where they're like, oh yeah, you know, if you just sign here, because uh, that would be really great, uh, because basically uh, we've got so many other people really interested in something right now um, or interested in this right now. And if you don't grab this right now, you know, you'll miss your opportunity. It'll go to someone else. If anyone's trying to pressurize you into something or kind of like bamboozle you into something, I would say, you know, slow down. There's got to be a reason. Whenever someone tries to pressurize you into something, it means they benefit from it more than you do. So what I'm getting is, and this is the main energy I'm getting from this, uh, I would say if you get a cold call from like your financial institution where you house your finances, you know, like someone who is, um, what do you call it? It's a phishing call type thing. I would say, you know what? Thanks so much. Or just hang up basically. But I would say thanks so much. But, you know, um, I didn't call you. So if someone calls you and says, hey, there's a problem with your bank card or there's a problem in this area of your account, um, you know, just cut all communication. And I would say, you know, do your own research, either go into your account or your branch or call them yourself, not back on the number that they called you. Even if the number resembles your uh, bank, I would just say, uh, you know, call them on a fresh new uh, number with you putting the digits in because this could indicate that you may get like a phishing call, okay, where there's like a scammer. So just watch out for that. That's what I'm uh, seeing there. Um, now also the positive, because remember there's always a positive to a negative. Um, the Seven of Swords can indicate that you are trying to independently do something. You're standing out from the crowd. Remember, you are a tower of power, and it may mean that you have a lot of responsibilities on your shoulders, but I would say don't move too quickly because I am getting an energy that you may need to revisit something, um, and I feel like you are going to um, be a little bit overstretched in the month of August. I see a lot on your plate, but I also see that you're going to accomplish a lot. So I feel there may be a little bit of a blip you know, in the first two weeks of August, uh, the tower, you know, it can indicate as well that uh, you hear news that shocks you, but with the um, Tempest card, it's like, you know, uh, you'll process that and it feels like, you know, things will die down and it'll be, uh, I feel like you turn it into a positive, you know, that's what I'm feeling there. So please take it as it resonates. I hate to give that message, but I gotta be honest with you. You know, the tower can be a shock. It can be a sudden surprise. Thank you so much, I'm so grateful. I'm also being given by my guides right now that your frequencies are changing. They're getting higher. You know, when you have electrical currents, okay, especially with that uh, lightning bolt there, you could have a sudden epiphany or realization about something and you may like start afresh on something um, like, you may feel that actually I know how to do it a different way or perhaps uh, this is a restructure. I mean, some of you, you may hear that the company that you're working for is restructuring or downsizing, so it may be shocking, but actually with the Six of Wands, it indicates that you're someone who is an integral member of the team and it can indicate that there are some options available to you that will increase your finances. So, um, you know, I feel 
there's a bit of a change going on in and around you, but also I feel like you're in control of a lot of the changes. Some of you are literally restructuring, so it could be some DIY, perhaps you're doing some uh, literal extension to your property or you're actually you know, decluttering things, but I actually see that this is like an embracing of um, revamping your life in some way. Six of Wands, this is the earthly plane, so this can indicate that, you know, uh, in the next coming weeks, although there may be something that surprises you, um, I feel there's also a really positive spin on this because Six of Wands is celebrate. It's you, like, getting a qualification or a certification. I mean, some of you could be getting, like, a, a driving test and you pass and you get your license. Uh, for some of you, it could be that you've been in training for something for quite some time and you actually pass with flying colors you may also I mean the three of swords and the tower it could be that you think okay that test it was really difficult and I probably didn't pass when actually when you get your results you're like oh my gosh I got you know a, a star or you got uh, a pass even higher than you ever imagined so this is you being crowned in glory also the six of wands it can indicate that yes you've been in training like we are all students of life and you felt a lot of pressure recently but this is you winning the day this is you overcoming a challenge and uh, I also feel that for some of you this is about you looking at where you stand apart in your world uh, how you can uh, you know stand out and be noticed for example especially in a career environment perhaps some of you want to be notable in the neighborhood or you're taking a position of responsibility in uh, your family perhaps or even as I said in the neighborhood um, or in society in some way and I feel this is about you sort of um, stepping into a leadership role or taking charge of your life in some way. Uh, but that Six of Wands is a really great card to have on the earthly plane because the Three of Swords is basically how you're feeling right now. It's a lot. You're at capacity in some way in your life and you feel that actually you can't uh, take on any more because you're overstretched. Maybe you feel that there's no support right now uh, and that tower is like you're at breaking point. You feel something needs to give or you need to restructure your time or your schedule in some way. And also, I feel your breaking cycles repeat, whether that is ancestral wounding, childhood wounding, whether it is a toxic pattern that you have with a person, or perhaps it's a toxic cycle you have within yourself. You know, from time to time, we all tend to self-sabotage, or we tend to try and tear ourselves down, that inner critic, that inner narrative. And I definitely see some of you are taking charge of that in the month of August in particular, and noticing when you like have that inner critic tearing you down, especially during moments of pressure. When things are not going so well, suddenly you may start to blame yourself or start to think that you're not good enough or uh, that you could have done better because you tend to um, be very critical upon yourself. And I feel uh, some of you are just trying to um, harness your energy and basically um, take charge of those negative thoughts. Now, what's in the past position? We've got the Four of Wands. Now, the Four of Wands, this is a card um, that indicates that uh, you used to have a lot of fun and you may feel that something has changed. Life got really hard suddenly or something's changed within you and you feel that you've been tunnel vision on your goals, your dreams. I mean, your outcome energy is all pentacles. So a lot of you could have been focusing on your money at this time, your pensions, um, your real estate, your acquisitions. You may feel that the world is changing. You may even be preempting like an, an economic dip at this time and you feel that it's a constant kind of like it almost feels like right now the world is like a constant clickbait because there's so much uh, trouble going on there's so much conflict and you're trying to work out your position in the world and how you can protect everything that you worked for protect your family uh, you know because you preempt some changes that are coming but you know your fourth house is influencing you at the end of the month. So I'm not surprised to see the king and queen of pentacles there because that's all about stability. It's about um, all things domestic. Some of you may be purchasing real estate, but it's more about the home space being your sanctuary. It's like it's too peopley outside right now. You're really busy. You're absorbing a lot of other people's energy as well as your own because you're an empath. So this is a time to make your home your sanctuary. Some of you may even set up like a business or you actually run your business from home. And I see you increasing your wealth. At the end of the month, there is an increase in money and you're attracting more wealth as well. So this could be that you are wishing 
for something, especially with the star energy at the beginning. You're wishing for something uh, abundant to occur, and then the universe is listening and delivering. But that Four of Wands, it's also a card of, you know, going out with friends, letting your hair down, and you may feel it's in the past. So you may feel that either you've just gone on a vacation or you've been going out a lot with people uh, that you really have a lot of fun with, but now you're getting super serious about your direction. You're thinking about uh, your goals and your dreams. And it's like business as usual because the king and queen of pentacles as your outcome is a very serious energy. It's like, okay, you're back in the flow of tasks, administrative things that you need to do, uh, emails, contracts. You're being in the flow of making your life secure. Now also, uh, the fourth house, it opens up big philosophical questions about where you feel like you belong. And that's, you know, not just in a place. It's like home, it's a feeling, but it's also, uh, it doesn't have to be a place. It can be uh, with a person. It can be be in a circumstance. It could be where you work. It could be in a community. It could be doing something in terms of like um, a hobby, for example. So I feel this is about you following your heart um, and analyzing your journey, processing your past in order to find more security and grounding in the present moment. Now also the Four of Wands. For some of you, this could have been an invitation to something that doesn't go ahead and you're disappointed or you feel that um, it will be rescheduled is what I see there. Uh, so uh, the Tower and the Three of Swords with the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is invitation to something, but it's in the past. So it could be something that you were invited to, but it may have been something that was due to happen in August or you hear in August that it will be rescheduled or um, it may be canceled. Uh, but I feel it will be brief. I feel it will be rescheduled later on. Um, again, I feel this disappointment there, but I feel you understand. Um, now also, the Four of Wands is a really important card because it indicates a level of success and harmony, uh, but also it's, uh, it's almost like a thought process. You know, you're really passionate, intense about your goals and dreams, but you're looking at who deserves a place at your success table. And you're having a glow up here. I feel like, you know, things are going to start working in your favor. If you haven't had good news, there is some on the way, but you're also looking at who deserves that place at the table. And you may feel it's pretty empty right now. Don't get me wrong, you have some really good friends around you who support you, but I feel that sometimes you tend to be there for a lot of people, and when it comes to uh, people being there for you, you may have noticed that you know uh, either they're busy or perhaps they see you as being super independent and that you don't need anybody. So I feel some of you are kind of looking at the dynamics and friendships right now, um, and they're evolving. Uh, some of you may even actually have friends abroad that perhaps you're going to see, or you feel the relationship between you has somehow evolved. And and you feel that you miss them or you feel perhaps they're going to give you some news that you find uh, a little bit upsetting uh, and you feel you need to be there to comfort them because there's a lot of love here so I feel one of your friends in particular it feels like there's a distance and I feel like they're going through something and a bit like you I feel like they've withdrawn and they're dealing with something and it's not actually to do with you it's not personal it just feels very much like they're trying to work something out on their own and I feel part of you is a little bit disappointed that uh, they didn't reach out to you or they um, didn't try to count on you as being there because they know that you're an awesome friend, that you would be there no matter what. 3 a.m., if they called you, you'd be there. But they're also kind of like dealing with something and they've stepped away. And you may not be the sort of person, my beautiful Scorpio, who calls people at 3 a.m. if you need them. So I feel uh, you see a little bit of something of yourself in this person and you realize that when you don't share uh, like a, a problem that perhaps you may be going through with uh, a really good friend of yours, perhaps now you're seeing how they feel. Because uh, I'm just getting this energy that sometimes they feel like they want to help you, but there's like a barrier or a shield. And you may actually have a conversation about that in the month of August there as well. Now, Two of Wands, this is a card of planning restructuring. It's also a card of feeling frustrated. You may feel like you can't see progress right now, that you're really buckling under the pressure. Now, you're someone who is super strong, okay? Uh, you tend to show up for yourself every single day, and even if you're going through a level of pressure, you don't let anyone see the pressure that you're under. Uh, you tend to put a smile on your face and just show up. Um, as I said, you're a tower of power. But the Two of Wands can indicate uh, that right now you are trying to move forward on something, and there's delays 
means or you feel frustrated. I mean, I feel like you're manifesting something that's actually going to uh, show you evidence in the month of August that things are going to go your way. But with this two of wands, I feel there's a wait. It's like, don't rush into something. Wait. Uh, see, um, it's almost like, see it play out first. So I just want to see what that is because I feel there's something that you're eager to embrace and you may even feel the pressure of like trying to grab it with both hands, but I feel like you're being asked to slow down in the month of August and really investigate it further. So just let me see what that is for you because it could be that you're going to find something shocking about it or there's something being hidden about it at this time. Okay, uh, Four of Cups. I mean, the Four of Cups is frustration. Uh, that you feel that everything is the same, you know, nothing changes. However, I feel like you will look back and see there's been a lot of progress and there's more to come. There is something to celebrate. The universe is sending you a surprise. As you can see, that four cups, it says, you know, something that you are not expecting. Maybe you're wishing for it, but you feel it's never shown up. So perhaps you feel it's not going to happen for you. Uh, this card indicates that it will like take you by surprise. It's going to happen in divine timing. And it's something better than what you thought it would be is what I see there as well but I mean the four of cups with the two of wands it's like you're bored of waiting you're showing up you're taking action you're doing everything that you should be doing and you're like why is there um, a delay or why is it not working out but I feel you're going to see especially with the two of wands there something is being offered to you and I feel you will grab it with both hands um, but yeah, don't rush into it. Five of Swords. Five of Swords is pressure. It's sabotage. It's, uh, you know, it's an energy of like, if something doesn't feel right, investigate it further. So I would say wait. I feel like you're being asked to wait and just get all the details or at least get advice, perhaps. Uh, maybe um, from someone who's in a position of authority to give that advice. Second opinions, I would say. Uh, now also... I'm seeing an image in the water with these two cards. I'm seeing like, you know that old fashioned, um, this just tells you how old I am, um, old fashioned computer game like Space Invaders. I'm seeing that right now. So maybe I'm being given that because you feel that someone is either trying to micromanage you or is getting into your space and it's frustrating or they're trying to push your buttons or they're causing you a level of drama that you feel you want to distance yourself from at this time. Um, I really feel that this person, they like to win at all costs, okay? So stepping away, avoiding this person is probably the most mature thing to do. But also I feel there could be some sort of um, sharp conversation. I feel like you lead with integrity, but I feel like you're super blunt. So whatever the situation is, of course, I see diplomacy, but I feel like you get your message across, okay? And this person it feels very much like they're going to be fed up that they can't actually uh, affect you anymore. They're just going to go away, okay? But I feel there could be a critical point because space invaders, it feels like someone is invading your space. Um, but it could also be, you know, avoiding something um, and kind of like avoiding something in order to focus on something else. So I keep getting this energy of avoiding something in order to focus on something else. So it could be that... Um, perhaps something that you really wanted, it turned out to be not all it was cracked up to be, and then you get an alternative that's even better. Sometimes the universe says, wait, I've got something better for you. So if you're offered a job or opportunity, investigate it before you take it. I feel in the time frame that you wait, something better arises because the lover's card tells me you have a choice. Okay. So this is about you looking at your options, following your heart, of course, um, and prioritizing what's really important to you. Um, also the lover's card, it really means you're vibing at a frequency in your heart to match the thing that you really are wishing for at this time. Okay. So, I mean, with all the kind of negative cards that have shown up as well there, I would say, be careful what you wish for. If you're wishing for someone from the past to show up, um, for you, which I don't see that happening. Actually, I feel some of you wanted to reunite with someone in the past, but I feel like you're over this right now, uh, whoever this is. Um, I feel it's really important to think of them in a new vibration, not think about them the last time you argued or uh, something went wrong. I feel, you know, positively visualizing them in a better 
frequency is the way to call someone back into your life, but uh, I feel a lot of you are trying to move on from the past. Um, the lover's card literally means that you are a magnet for what your heart desires right now. So be careful what you wish for. Uh, also the lover's card, if you are looking for a soulmate, this is the near future position. I see you're going to meet someone that you've waited for your whole life. You know, this person will make you realize why it never ever worked with someone else in the past. And you will even marry this person. The Hierophant tells me that uh, there is a contract with you and this person. You'll move in with each other and I feel that um, you know this is going to be a very exciting time. Uh, for some of you, I actually see that you're going to hear from someone from your past who wants to reunite um, and I feel uh, they intend to do it but they may have to delay it or uh, they reschedule it but I definitely see that you will reunite with this person. I feel this person is a friend, okay? So um, yeah, it feels very much friend energy there. Um, now also, I see a lot of you, because this is a ball of yarn, I feel a lot of you have been healing the heart chakra, and this month it's all about that, so I feel you really will benefit from the energy. Um, your Ten of Pentacles there, this is about multiplying your wealth. This is also a card that indicates you are creating stability in your world for you and your family. I mean, some of you may work for the family business and you may actually decide to outsource some of the things that you work on that will make things work easier. For some of you, uh, there may be three of you, it doesn't have to be, but there's three people in this energy. I mean, for some of you, you may... Uh, basically find something out about someone that shocks you and you may have to deal with that this month but you'll move on from it is what i see ten of pentacles is really about attracting more money so you may have new money making ideas you may be thinking about pensions real estate uh you know this is a card that indicates some of you may be thinking about purchasing homes so you're looking at your savings budgets plans things like that um, but the ten of pentacles is basically security it connects to your fourth house. So uh, some of you may actually be purchasing security for your home. I don't see any reason why you would need it, but I feel like your home is your sanctuary and you're just protecting uh, you know, everything that you worked for there. But also some of you are thinking about branching out this month and uh, doing new things because you may feel that um, you've been in a bit of a traditional uh, cycle of repeat recently and you are antsy to move on to something else, new projects, new places, new faces. Uh, I really feel like you are yearning for something else or yearning for the missing piece. Now also I cannot ignore the fact that you have a Three of Swords there uh, and the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, and I'm sending you a huge hug out there, if you've been grieving someone who has transitioned uh, so much love. There are literally no words to comfort, um, but you know, know that I am just like holding you in your energy. Uh, some of you may have had the very difficult um, task of going through uh, real estate or an estate, you know, um, someone's will, that sort of thing. And I feel, you know, it's really difficult to deal with. And I know that you would rather have the person with you than have to deal with inheritance and things like that. But um, I feel some of you, you may learn a little bit more about this person. And actually, I see, thanks so much, I'm truly grateful. Uh, I'm being given that this person may send you a message through some graffiti, believe it or not. There may be something that you see on a wall um, that has a message or it could be something that's personal to you and this person and you see something really colorful and it's graffiti, it's on a wall and it basically has a message there for you. So it could be like a huge heart because I'm just being given the energy. I'm not, uh, I'm seeing graffiti in the wall but I, I'm seeing lots of it, it's, it's just ever changing. I'm seeing like a heart, uh, I'm seeing a message in the heart, I love you. I'm seeing like uh, an electric, um, you know, lightning bolt. So I feel it's like you're electric, live life, enjoy and embrace every moment. I'm still with you. And, um, you know, if, especially if you've been going through a storm, I feel like this person's with you. Okay, so you may see a message of that um, in the next coming weeks. And with a lot of respect, I'm moving away from that energy and moving forward. Um, now, we also have the chariot card. Some of you are literally going to purchase a car. Um, and if that's the case, I would say shop around or make sure that you get everything in writing, a quote, uh, especially since we had that energy at the beginning. Some of you with the chariot card, I mean, you may have to perhaps um, revisit like a problem. If you've got a car, there may be like 
a problem that you have with the car and it gets critical okay so you may actually have to like revisit it or get it fixed and then you may have to then bring it back and say actually it wasn't fixed to standard so I don't see anything like really negative so it could be like a tail light or it could be like the bulb is what I'm seeing in the um, do bulbs go out on the tail light? I'm not sure. Um, so it could be that. I feel it's small um, and it may just not work or it's loose. It doesn't get screwed in like that's what I'm being given. That's definitely not going to resonate with everyone, but I see that happening there as well. But the chariot card in this position, it can indicate circumstances outside yourself. You know, this is a card that indicates things are going to be very busy and you're going to be pushed and pulled in many different directions. So you're going to be super organized. But I feel like, you know, if you experience any bumps in the road, you're actually going to move on, get back on the horse and you're going to be successful. This is a card of ambition, drive, direction. But I feel, again, there is some big decision you have to make. And I feel like you're going to get all the information you need before you make the decision. And you're not going to be pressurized into making that decision. Um, also, the chariot card could be that you're having a vacation or you've taken a trip and then you're getting serious about getting back to work or having some sort of business plan or a strategy to make more money. Some of you may implement money-making ideas from the home space because of your 10th and 4th house combined. This will be very lucrative, especially if it's online. It may be difficult to get online, but sudden epiphanies and realizations you're going to have a breakthrough. Um, now, of course, the tower can also indicate some of you, wherever you live, there may be some major storms in the month of August. Um, so I definitely see that, of course, this too shall pass. Um, also, the chariot card, this is about a strict budget, keeping a tight rein on your finances, because I see you going from a ten of pentacles to a king and queen of pentacles, right? So that's an increase, multiplying your wealth, being serious. Some of you may even have like a meeting with a person in a position to help you manage your finances. This could be like a, a bank manager or perhaps um, a wealth kind of um, company that helps you manage your estate, for example. Uh, it could also be that you are paying off bills and basically in the flow of taking down any repayment plans and just feeling really proud of yourself that you're on top of your finances. Um, now, I'm just going to pull a quick card because we've got three people here, okay? So I want to see if it's three people or aspects of self. At this moment in time, I feel it's aspects of self, that you are reaching higher than ever before in your life. And um, it feels like as you mature, you're getting like more and more serious. And you may feel that... The older you get, you don't really want to spend much time with people, is what I'm feeling. But let me just see what this is that's coming out. Ten of Swords, something ended. Oh gosh, yeah. So I feel it's basically aspects of self, of how you're evolving through this, that you're really emotional about something. Now you are in command of your emotions. Now you're feeling really stable in your life. You're moving on. And if it was a relationship... I feel it's really, really over, um, and it was a very difficult time for you, but I feel like you're actually calling in a soulmate. So if you're looking for love, I feel it's that um, you know, you're going to attract uh, a person who is right for you. Also, if it was a job, perhaps you've come to this reading and you lost your job or you had a shock at work and you're leaving a position because you feel it was a toxic environment, know that things are difficult, um, but I feel like this is a new start for you because you're attracting something better at this time. But also it can indicate that something has come to an end. Something has changed within you and you're evolving into uh, the person that you're always meant to be. And I feel these changes within yourself, they can feel isolating, but I feel it's positive. Yeah, the lover's card is like you're attracting a new stage of life. For some of you, it could be that you're actually entering into like um, a new era in life, whether you are actually um, going through the menopause or perhaps you are retiring or perhaps you've reached like a monumental age perhaps you're like leaving your 20s and you're into your 30s now maybe you're going into your 40s 50s 60s whatever it is I feel like something big is ending for you um, and it can feel difficult because you're going through a transition but know that you're evolving into the person that you're always meant to be and you're attracting some really great things at this time Sometimes, as I said, and I felt it right at the beginning of your reading, you're leaving the familiar. 
And the familiar tends to be hard times, broken hearts, sadness, and struggle. You know, you've really been through it. And I feel like you're leaving those times behind and you're embracing something way better. Especially since that King of Cups is like you're putting your own needs first. This is a Scorpio card. Uh, from those cards, I'm being given that it's a singular energy. There's no one else involved. It's not three people. This is different aspects of you. So this is about you making sure that you command your emotions. You know, you're still deep feeling and you have a lot of empathy but this is about you making sure that you're not overwhelmed by your emotions. Also, you're following your heart and you're noticing as you start to grow older that you are feeling more comfortable in your own skin, that you are quietening that inner critic, but also you're embracing all that you are because you are a gift and you have a lot to offer. But also, as you can see, there's like this huge castle there. So I feel this is about you being stable in your emotions, but also in your uh, life, of course. Stability is very important. Your fourth house is really making you focus on that at this time. Queen of Pentacles, you're not just thinking about yourself. You're thinking about the people you really care about, your family. Uh, for some of you, you will work with family members. If you have siblings or um, it could even be your soul tribe. Uh, but the Queen of Pentacles is to multiply wealth. It's to secure your position. It's to be cautious about your finances, protect everything that you worked really hard for. But it's also about having money on your mind and your mind on the money. So I definitely see that uh, that is a factor as you move throughout uh, the next coming weeks. Some of you may partner up in business or you may actually attract the thing that you want and there's a wonderful partnership there. Uh, but I definitely see with that King of Pentacles that you are in the flow of organization, um, that it feels like August is a serious month for you where um, you know there are some really good things to come and you will celebrate, but I feel the more good things come, it really kind of inspires you to do more of that and increase what you are already working hard to achieve. You know, the Queen of Pentacles works hard for the lifestyle that she aspires to. Male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy. You may even like meet a person who will be critical to your journey and really help uh, your journey at this time. But I want you to be aware, it's like this castle is something that you dream of because um, the Cups are all about your hopes, your dreams. So it could be something that you've been manifesting, you've been hoping for. You will secure it on the earthly plane. It becomes a reality and then you get to protect it. You build a fortress, okay? So I feel also your reading is saying, yep, serious times, serious month. Don't forget to have fun along the way. Um, but I feel like you're reaching or planning for something else in your life and you will reach your goal. And I feel there's some nice surprises, but also there may be something else that shocks you in the month of August. But intuitively, I feel you knew it was going to happen. Some of you may even actually shock others during this month, choosing a path that is not traditional. Um, I mean, for some of you, yeah, reaching, rise, you have some really positive energy. You're moving into a different level, whether that's in terms of spirituality, Career, friendship, yeah. So, um, I mean, all these cards really connect to the reading that we've just got through for you. Uh, we have Rise, okay, and it says here, uh, Rebuilding from the Ground Up, and that's what the Tower is all about. So you may have felt that uh, something happened in your life, you're getting over it right now, um, you're rebuilding. It could even be a plot twist in your life where you felt the ground, you know, the carpet was taken from underneath your feet and now you're just like recalibrating and you're building back stronger. Reborn as someone different or something different, uh, rising from the ashes. You're that phoenix rising from the ashes. You know, tough times don't last, tough people do. And you are someone who is definitely elevating in life and you're turning things around. Reaching, we have there as well. And it says, the moment to act has arrived. Reach your desired destination, carrying out the plan. So you won't be waiting or delaying things forever. There is a moment to act. I mean, for some of you, it could be that you're purchasing something or that you're moving forward on an idea. And I feel, you know, the beginning of August, it feels very much like investigation or finalizing your plans. And then the end of August, it's like, it's here, it's happening. Uh, you're going to celebrate, there's something really exciting here. We've also got uh, friendship, okay? 
we did mention this briefly, it says someone offering their support, someone close to you and your social circle. So uh, I definitely see you reuniting with someone. You may delay it, but uh, I definitely see you'll reunite with someone, but also someone close to you, I feel will reach out to you as well. And um, yeah, we'll leave it there. I'm just gonna go and get a trinket or room before we close. Okay, so we've got the tree again. Okay, I mean, it literally kind of mirrors that card, right? Uh, so this is the tree of life. Everything happens for a reason. This is about you um, kind of focusing on your path, but also a lot of you may be thinking about your legacy. You know, um, what your reputation says about you, what you stand for, because, you know, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for everything, and you're not that sort of person. So I definitely see that happening, uh, where you are really kind of reestablishing your belief system, you are knowing your worth, and you are basically thinking about branching out, attracting more wealth at this time as well, but also your family are super important to you, your soul tribe. You are ride or die for the people that you really care about. So I feel like you are basically investing in and enhancing your relationships and your friendships. But I also feel there's this withdrawal at this moment because you need to focus on something else. So it could be branching out financially. Um, I mean, this is a, a trinket of wealth, but also we've got the giant rune there as well. This is a rune of protection. Uh, it can also be that you're going to seek counsel in some area of your life to get a second opinion or get some advice on something. You know, this rune is all about non-action. You know, the hangman is also connected to uh, the tree of life. You know, the hangman actually puts himself on the tree of life to get a new perspective. So I feel there is a big message here. Don't rush into something. Uh, hang back a little bit. Make sure you get a new perspective, uh, but you are protected. So you will uh, receive divine sort of warnings or divine information or advice before you proceed on something. Trust your intuition there. But also this rune is about good luck. Okay, so I feel luck is on your side, even though you didn't get a Wheel of Fortune. You know, the giant rune, it can indicate that also there's been like a bit of a thorn in your side. Something's been bothering you, it's been on your mind, and now you set things in motion to make things better, okay? So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates for someone out there. If you do want to enter a competition, this is the second competition I've opened now to win a free personal reading from me. All you have to do is write in the comments box below, love is the answer. That's it. Love is the answer. And my guides will bring me to one subscriber to win that free personal reading. Please keep your notification bell on because I will upload a video announcing the winner's name and you'll want to know how to contact me for that reading, okay? And that notification will alert you to the video that I will upload at the end of August, okay? So thank you so much, my beautiful Scorpio, and love and light.